morning, happy Monday. Welcome to a new vlog. I am back from Lake Chelan slash Leavenworth. If you haven't seen that, it's the last vlog. We had so much fun and I just did a haul for every one of what we got. Um, and I took a V shower. I have our sheets running, all of our laundry, like our dirty clothes and everything. Um, I think I'm gonna need to turn on the AC because I think it's gonna be a little hot. 64 already. It's gonna be a high of 85. So I'm gonna turn on the AC in like a couple hours. I have one client consult call at noon and we'll see, he's like part of this band. He's an older guy and he's playing at the Harbor Days Festival. I do a lot of their marketing um, and he's just looking for maybe some help with his band. So I'm very excited to see like how that shakes out. Um, and then this week, thank God, don't have like a ton for work. So I'm gonna use these free days. I do have appointments, but not a ton for work. So I'm gonna use these free days to work ahead on two client calendars that I can get done. We have a Mariners game on Wednesday. <sighs> you guys, this is comical. This is how many buns Jared came back with from the boys trip. So I think we're gonna make burgers a couple nights this week. Um, and I have a Caesar salad kit that I came home with. So I think we're gonna do that. So I will write like a two buy list here. And yeah, I'll just kind of like figure out what we need. I wanna make my pasta with my delicious pasta sauce. So now we start on batch planning for myself. My big bachelorette event is coming up. Can you believe it? I feel like I've been on like two batch trips that like could have easily been mine too. Um, and like I had so much fun that like I don't feel like I deserve another, but I'm very, very excited. Um, it's just like a one day thing. Um, and we're gonna have a blast. So I think all of my decor has come in from it. I need to get Lauren approval today on her design. She's doing uh, custom t-shirts for everyone with her friends Crooked. So I need to get the design approved, tell her what fonts I want, and then I need to test out our backdrop stand, make sure the streamers like look well on that. We did use the same streamers for this batch trip for Sumai, and they turned out really good. And she only used like a single um, amount of them. Um, and I have like, they're doubled up, so they're very thick. Um, so hopefully it'll be good. Uh, also Lauren, Sumai's friend, got um, helium at Target, like super cheap. So I'm gonna pick one of those up in a couple weeks. And um, yeah, that's basically all I gotta do, but I gotta figure out goodie bags, like what else do I put with the t-shirt? I have one item that I'm not gonna show you until it's the week of, so no one gets spoiled. Um, it's like a custom designed item from a friend of mine. And then I just need to fill it with like other stuff, you know, like candy or whatever, anything that like kind of goes within like the racing theme too. So I'll get creative. I'll do some Googling today. Um, we have been hearing back from our wedding designer, by the way, lots of updates have been coming in. So hopefully we'll get everything kind of solidified with like rentals and everything soon. Um, she's working with like the catering company, figuring out what they need. Um, and things are just in motion again. So I really hope there's no stall, um, you know, moving forward here. Um, because we're getting down to the wire. Like we're four months out as of like a couple days from now. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited to get stuff done, learn the firm budget. <laughs> so I know what we're looking at. Um, I think that's just been such a weight on my shoulders. And so being able to figure that out will be excellent. A lot of my projects are kind of wrapping up. Um, I would love, you know, a few more projects for some extra money, but um, there are some like inquiries hanging in the balance. So we're going to see what happens. But anyway, I hope this caught you up to speed. Um, great trip. And I'm just so excited. Like while it was fun, I'm so excited to get back into like my normal routine. So uh, we'll test out some batch stuff this week. We will work on goodie bags and I will show you guys everything. Um, again, probably won't show you like what's in the goodie bags. I know a lot of my attendees watch the vlogs, but um, I'll kind of tell you the process of that. And then once we are like in the week of, in a few weeks from now, I will like show you exactly um, what they are, how the t-shirts turn out, all of that. Um, but yes, so many exciting things. So I will see you very soon. I am going to hydrate. Definitely got dehydrated on this trip. So I'm going to chug some ice water and just kind of edit the vlog. Probably just gonna have like a little bar. I'm gonna have one of these and just get into work. Write my grocery list, adulting things. Hello friends, it is later. I have been honestly just editing the video and working a bit. I have some more things to get done, but nothing too terrible. The potential client call went so good. He is such a friendly older guy. 
Um, he has lived so many lives, like different jobs and everything. Very cool, very impressive. Um, and I think he wants to go forward with a website for his band. Um, so I'm very excited if I can land this, that would be really great. Um, it seems like it's gonna be a very quick project, just like a few pages. So not like the, I guess, scale of my typical web projects, but still I will take anything and everything that can help the wedding. So fingers crossed that we do that in the next month. And I am about to head out, we're gonna get groceries. It is Monday, we're gonna do a little reset. Also a bird pooped on our window. It is absolutely disgusting, but we have our wedding wall that needs updating. So I figured let's update this really quick before Jared gets here. Well, the bird poop does not make it very appealing, but we have updated the wall with everything we need to do and I am just so, so excited. This is just gonna be so good. I cannot wait. It's getting smaller and smaller, and I'm so thrilled. All right, friends, we are home. We secured the goods for the week. Uh, I was very surprised to see True Fruit at Safeway. So we got my favorite, raspberries, and then Jared and I both like the pina colada. So we got those. I'm almost out of balsamic glaze, so I got the Nona Pia's balsamic glaze. We were out of frozen rice, we got that. I wanna try this medium chunky salsa. Um, I saw these hint of guacamole tostitos. A spaghetti. Little macro bars. Little oranges. More bread and butter pickles for our sandwiches. Two light Caesar kits. Jared got it's like a little sausage and cheese pairings. I wanted some rice crackers. Stocked up on our favorite burgers, buffalo chicken and the black bean. Got like a little thing of milk, hard boiled eggs, grapes, little baby peppers. Jared said the guys on the trip made the best breakfast oh sandwiches. God. Tell them what you put on it. So, you take a, a took, burger bun. Take a burger bun, specifically these brioche hamburger buns. Got a lot at Costco. You put spicy cheese, jalapeno, cream cheese on it, mayo, scrambled egg, sliced cheese. Put it all together. And then I think we're oh. gonna try it with hash browns. Oh, uh, one. Oh yeah, we're gonna add hash browns. But uh, one thing that's key to it is toaster buns. Oh, like in the toaster? Yep. Love that. We did that for each and every one of them, and it was it's fire. Phenomenal. Okay, so we're gonna try that for breakfast. I also love these popcorners. I've been loving them lately. Got that. Got some lettuce for sandwiches. Got a feta cheese chunk for a sheet pan. Got more cream. And then I'm very excited for this. This is the Chobani Creamer. It's the cookies and cream flavor. I almost want to just like try some right now. Shut the fuck up, smell that. Oh my F. Okay, won't try any, but we'll keep this in here. Also got some little sweet potato fries for our burgers. And then we just got dinner for tonight. I got like a variety of pastas I'm gonna try out. Good morning, happy Tuesday. We're back in a normal week again. Um, I got just a card for my dad. Jared got this one, the Ted Lasso one. He got them hooked on the show. Um, so we got our cards and then I got this bag and I need to put my dad's gifts in here. I'm just kind of prep stuff. So. It felt good kind of reconciling my wall yesterday. Um, I think I can take off one more thing, but I'm just kind of waiting. Okay, so this one's the biggest. I'm also gonna run an errand later this week to get the gift card for my dad. Okay. I wrote mine, I'll write his. So I'm gonna get my nails done today. Um, just the fingernails, kind of refresh a little bit. <clears throat> And then we shall 
figure stuff out from there. Uh, I have two meetings, a uh, call with my accountant and a call with a client. So we're gonna get into that and then we're gonna get stuff done. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I had a client call. I've been working all day watching my spooky shows. Also, I just tried a new creamer. So good. Also, these cups, so cute. I realized I stopped vlogging yesterday, so these are my nails. I went with like just like a hot orangey pink. Plain, I know, very not like me. But I feel like I just need to go plain before we go crazy again. Um, today we have a Mariners game. I'm so excited. Um, it's like one of our last. I feel like there's just like a couple sprinkled um, throughout the next few months. But I'm very excited to like end off June, end of May, early June with a big bang. Um, so we're going to do that tonight. And I'm going to try to work ahead with some client posts. So that is what's on my agenda today. Hello, friends. Okay, it is later. That's my printer, by the way. Um, we are about to head out to the Mariners game. Jared should be home any second. Oh my god, it's so loud. Okay. Jared should be home. I'm in his space right now because I just printed some stuff off. I was gonna do cardstock, but I don't really think anyone's gonna give a shit. Um, and I don't have money. I started putting things through FedEx and like getting quotes, and holy cow. So I have some signage I need to print off. We have a welcome sign, a bar sign, and then we have like the food, like the tent fold over cards, like buffet cards for the food. Um, and those all need like cardstock or uh, the welcome sign needs like a foam board. So we're gonna do that separate <laughs> um, and do like a FedEx order for that. That's all for the rehearsal dinner, so before the wedding. Thank God I am not handling any of the signage for my wedding. I don't know what I would do. Um, mad respect if you are a bride or a marrier of any sort and you are doing your own stuff, DIYing it. I could never, and I know it's a privilege to not have to fully. Um, we have a designer who is handling all of our signage, but I have taken on some DIY tasks for my bachelorette and my rehearsal because I do not have money because it's all going into the designer and the other vendors for our wedding. So, I have the cutest idea for my goodie bags, um, and I just printed them out, so I found them on Etsy. Once everything is done, I will link everything down below. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you, like, everything that's in there, um, but I will show you a couple things. So, um, I did find the cutest bags on Amazon, and it's, like, little favor bags. They're kind of, like, um like foldable things actually so they look like this and they're like foldable bags so they're kind of more hard kind of like a lunchbox versus like a soft bag so i'm very very excited about that um, and then i'm going to fill it with things so i have one kind of like jokey item that i think everyone will actually really enjoy um and it has something to do with like a gay phrase that we say all the time um and so i think my friends will get it and then I think I might make like a gift tag with that. And then we have, we're just going to put in like, you know, like liquid IV, band-aids, stuff like that. Kind of like a, a soft hangover recovery kit, if you will. Um, but I don't think anyone's going to get like shit faced. However, I am feeding them shots and <laughs> bottomless margaritas and mimosas. So I wanted to have it in there in case someone wanted the liquid IV. I think this is the most comical thing ever that I don't drink a lick of alcohol and I'm like shots for everybody um, that's just gay culture it's very common <laughs> very prevalent in our world to drink um, and especially at bachelorette so I will be giving my friends all of the liquor that they could want and whatever they do with it is their decision um, but then they're gonna get this bag and then my friend is making something edible that is like custom designed and I'm very excited and then they'll have that like jokey item, uh, some band-aids, liquid IV, and then I'm gonna do like a snack theme, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but they'll have goodie bags and they're gonna have the custom t-shirts, obviously too. Uh, Lauren sent me those and they look so good, I'm so excited for her to get going on that. Um, I think it'll be great. So I think I have finalized everything. Um, I will definitely be posting all of the stuff once people see it. This thing, you guys, 
I found this on Etsy. Technically, these things were for like a little kid, like a boy's birthday party. Um, but I think that they're pretty universal. And I think my friends are going to be really floored at like the creativity of this concept. So I'm so excited. I printed off tons of papers. And then I can show you a couple things. So I printed off, this is like a theme, um, speed limit. And it's 10 for 10 years that we've been together. Um, I think it was like one or two on the listing and people use it for like, you know, like the age of their kid, but I just asked for 10 and she whipped it up. So I got two of these so you can kind of like put them around the place. And then I also got this gift parking. So like if anyone brings gifts or whatever, I know already that like a couple people are. So, um, it's like on my bridal shower too. Like I'm not having a bridal shower. So if people are bringing like lingerie or whatever, um, we'll have like an hour for gifts and games too. So I'm going to have this. I don't really know where I'm going to put this, but I just printed them on printer paper. I'm not too worried. I'm probably just going to tape them somewhere or like glue them to a popsicle stick. Like I'm not that worried. And then I think I'm also going to do the same thing for like photo backdrop photo op things so we have our flags we have the racing flags and like the different pride flags then we have um a pair of sunglasses that i got on sumai's batch trip um they're like pink sunglasses so i figured someone might want to do that and then i think lauren has like the flame the racing sunglasses so she'll bring those maybe and um what else do i have i think that's it so i wanted to create like more like prop things like phrases and stuff and I thought it would be really funny to create ones that like me and Jared actually say um, and things that my friends would get a kick out of. So I think I'm going to like custom make and just print like I have a Canon printer. I think I'm just going to print them here and then like glue them to popsicle sticks um, and people can just like do whatever. I thought about maybe like printing out Jared's face or something. So shit like that. Um, I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> making my own. I know traditionally like a bridal uh, bridesmaid or like a maid of honor would do this. But I am so type A. I have such a specific vision that I think it's really good for me to be doing them. So anyway, you can't see this because it's so epic. Um, I will be making a whole like vlog about it. Obviously, I'll show you guys in just a few short weeks when it's about to happen. Um, the week leading up to it, I can show you everything. And then I'll make TikToks and everything. And I will link the person on Etsy so you can order as well. I am so stoked. So we've got basically all of the decor. I have the backdrop stand, everything. And then this week... I probably should test all of that and make sure like the streamers work and then at some point I need to go to Target probably about a week out and buy the liquid IV and the snacks and everything and then I'm also going to purchase a white sharpie there's something on here that I hope I can edit and then um, I need the helium tank and stuff like that so anyway this was my bachelorette update, um, but yes, treat bags, goodie bags are totally confirmed, and I'm very, very excited. Um, yeah, there's going to be like some really fun stuff, so I'll show you the packing and everything once we do that. I've had a super productive day. I got so much client work done. I just have a few things to do that are left here. A couple sentences I need to wrap up on a client's like e-blast that I'm prepping. And then I can hop into some festival posts for the next month. I'm going to just work on prepping those early um, tomorrow and the rest of the week. And then I have a couple other projects. But other than that, I'm feeling good. I'm trying to work ahead and go forward and conquer. <laughs> friends um I did not vlog I had kind of a rough day yesterday not like I cried or anything but just like wow that was a lot 
um just wedding stuff is happening and like sometimes I feel like vendors don't really remember things and like I've sent multiple emails about them and like it's just like kind of annoying to have to like be like well you're the rep don't you know the answer like or like I sent that like three times like you don't have it just like things like that where it's like okay but I'm like paying good money to have the service and so it's kind of like you're supposed to be kind of a concierge and like I don't know that's just my opinion it's a little frustrating I've had to repeat myself a lot um, and like people have forgotten things or like whatever and it's just like okay like that's not a great representation of like how the wedding day is gonna go so I went through, I made a master document, which I'll definitely just share with you guys like as we get closer and everything, but uh, my day of contact is gonna be my friend Lauren, and thank you Lauren for being willing to do this, but um, just in case like hiccups happen because I'm starting to feel like they probably will now, um, and she can like help, you know, plan out the day and stuff like that, um, and she'll have like the timeline and everything, and then um, things are going well with our designer. We have like stuff pretty firmed up. She just has to work on like revising a couple designs and then we need to have firm like rental order situation from the caterer. Just trying to get like these last like three elements nailed down. Um, so we should be good. <laughs> And um, my designer is also the co-manager of the venue. So she was able to answer some venue questions yesterday. Um, and I'm feeling good about that. I'm going to have some little oranges and some string cheese. And I'm going to hydrate. I just felt like kind of dizzy um, yesterday. I think I am just doing too much. I could be dehydrated. And I am just so stressed out and I think like I'm noticing that in the way my body is reacting so I guess we're not young anymore I, I'm not just like anxious and like symptom free physically um and I'm just like not feeling the best so we're gonna take it easy today I am gonna see one of my past clients at Starbucks pretty soon here um later this afternoon and then just relaxing the rest of the night tomorrow we have our menswear fitting um for jared i'm so excited and then um sunday we have a picnic for father's day with my parents i am personally not taking juneteenth off i have to work for client stuff but i guess it's like a long weekend obviously we love that um so jared will be home uh, i did have plans with jess and kenzie my team slash my friends tonight but kenzie has been exposed to covid pretty closely and so has jess like kind of second-handedly um so we're not going to be hanging out which sucks i mean like tell me why i knew one of us would be sick or would have been exposed like this is just our luck our group can like never get together and find things that work um and it really sucks because jess was in town like she was visiting um but it's whatever we'll figure out a way to do it again i'm kind of bummed about that but now that i'm feeling so weird i don't exactly want to be around people so I don't know what's going on. It's definitely a different dizziness than like what I had a year ago. Um, it's more of like a I'm gonna like faint kind of dizziness. So I think I'm probably just really stressed. I haven't been like taking care of my body and like eating the best and um, I haven't been hydrating and I've been on all these vacations like I definitely got some sun. Um, I just think it's like a lot of things like all at once and the stress is definitely not helping. So I'm gonna try to just like watch videos of people I like today, eat well relatively, hydrate, try to drink like two of my Stanleys, and just give myself some grace. That's really all I got for you. Uh, the week kind of just went to shit, but it's okay. Um, hopefully we can get some wedding plans made and um, budget firmed up and we'll be good to go. Um, I have some Amazon packages that we will unbox for like bachelorette stuff and I'll show you guys if I can uh, I think one is like a gift item that goes in it So I'm not going to show you that but I'll show you the gift boxes if they're here um, Probably gonna tackle that like the day before I don't want a whole bunch of boxes in here it's gonna be like 14 boxes and I also don't have like all the stuff that needs to go in it yet um, and I don't want to buy like snacks until like it is the week of so they don't go stale and I don't want to like put them in the bags. So um, it'll be a lot to do the week of, but just stay tuned for that vlog. It'll be coming at you early July and um, yeah, we're going to do it all. So 
anyway, um, I also went through my friends, uh, text last night and just asked a whole bunch of people to do like little tasks during the wedding um to help me out so i feel really good about that they all said yes to the ones that i asked and um i really think it's like four things that we need help with um nothing crazy and i definitely wanted them to be able to enjoy it so like they're early on tasks and then the rest of the day they can just relax and enjoy it's mainly like getting something set up or like greeting people stuff like that and then as soon as the ceremony starts like they're released in their duties so um yeah hopefully it won't be too much for lauren and my other friends and we'll be great all right we have two amazon packages i hate how the people next door have dogs and then therefore just coated in dog hair okay these are the little bags that I'm going to use for the little batch favors. They're just like cellophane bags or whatever, cellophane bags. And they have the adhesive like already on them. So you just like fold them over, tear it off, and it's just there, which we love to see. Oh boy. Keeping these stored in here is gonna be challenges. Uh, I have way more, they're like, I don't even know, like a 200 pack or something. I only need like a few dozen. And then the second item. Oh my gosh, okay. These are the goodie bags. So I can show you guys what they look like. Okay, we also got a gift. There's something in here that's a gift for the people, but I'm very excited, it looks so cute. So I'm gonna put these in my pile. You just fold it. Okay, they're very small. I thought they were larger. That's okay though. Mm. Hmm. It's a little small. I thought these were like twice the size. Hmm. It'll be okay though. It's a cute vibe. It's just not at all what I thought. It's okay though. Wait, how do you even put these together? I don't know how to do this. This is what I'm going to need like Lauren and Jared's help with. Anyway. They're supposed to be larger, but they're tiny. It's okay, I'm just a little concerned. I hope I can fit everything that I'm hoping to put in here. I think so. I only have like the little packs that I just showed you and like it doesn't, I guess, have to really close. And then something else that definitely is not gonna allow it to close. So, you know, we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll have to forego this, but I just think this is so cute. I'm not gonna put the t-shirt in here. It's gonna go like on top of the t-shirt. So I don't have to worry about that. But I think I can fit like liquid IV and stuff in here. This is the cute vibe. And it's kind of like a little, you know, box you can take with you. I do love it. Um, I got like a lot, I think 40 or something came in here. So we have a bit. So I'm gonna put that over here to the side and we will confirm that later. I think it'll be fine. They're deep. I'm sure we can fit a lot of stuff in there, so. Okay, we're fine. So those are the cute little goodie bags. Um, yeah, I just did not expect them to be that tiny, but we'll be okay. Um, I'm still feeling a bit dizzy, a bit off, but I'm okay. Um, I am just watching my vlogs, catching up, and getting client work done. Had a great check-in call this morning, and I'm still planning to go to Starbucks to see one of my favorite clients of all time um, and just get a little coffee. Maybe that will like bring me back to life. I'm really not sure. So anyway, more to come. It is much later. It's dinner time. This is my fave sheet pan lately, in case you've missed it in other vlogs. I know I haven't been sharing as much as my food, as I typically do. I do like little feta blocks. I just put seasoning over everything. And then my favorite, the field roast or whatever it's called, sausage. They have this at the ballpark at our uh, park, T-Mobile Park, so super good. So I did the apple and sage, but you could do like Italian, whatever you wanna do. I couldn't find a like orange sweet potato, so I got a yellow sweet potato, and then obviously bell pepper and some onion. I do like an Italian seasoning, a garlic, sriracha, and salt and pepper with olive oil. So yum. And then I just whip up some frozen rice and I put it together in a little bowl. And then I usually top it with a little balsamic. So I have some of the Trader Joe's ones still left, but just a balsamic glaze. Not the vinegar, just the glaze. Alrighty, and this is the finished product. You can add more sauce if you want, but I like it like this. Hello, friends. 
happy Saturday. We have our menswear appointment very soon. Um, we are going to make the breakfast sandwiches that Jared and the boys made on the trip. And I'm gonna tell you how it goes. Um, I'm very, very excited. We're gonna add hash browns to ours because I said it would be a really good idea. So we're just gonna add the Trader Joe's hash browns. We have a few left. So we're gonna do that. As a reminder, you need mayo. You also need spicy jalapeno Philadelphia. You need slices of cheese. I'm gonna use the medium white cheddar Tillamook. And then you need an egg. And you need to toast the bun. So we're using these, the brioche from Franz or whatever, Franz. And then you need eggs, like a scrambled egg moment. Okay, this is what they look like. So we put a little bit of ketchup we figured that would be with the hash brown. And then the cheese, the egg, the mayo, and the cream cheese. Cream cheese. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I feel like it'll be so yummy. All right, friends, it is later. I have been kind of up and down with my dizziness. I still have it, but I think it's just related to like stress and stuff like that. Um, it could be even like vertigo, like mild vertigo. I don't know, but it's very different than last year. I don't really know what to believe. Um, Jared is showering. I am gonna get ready. And we're gonna go to his little menswear appointment. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to just like have a chill rest of my summer. Like I don't have any vacations to go on, any of that stuff. So I'm very happy about that. And we'll just kinda stay relaxed. I'm not gonna drive like super long distances. We do have like some more Mariners games, but other than that, like I'm fine. I'm just gonna focus on like client work, taking it easy, planning my batch, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm definitely not having the dizziness sensation I did last year because um, I don't know if I ever shared this with you guys, but when I had it, um, like patting my face like this with this would make me dizzy. Like it was that bad. Um, cause like my eyes, like basically it's like a nerve in your ear and like it was not compensating. I don't really know what's going to happen if like they have something for him to try or like, cause I assume you have to try it on to know if you like it. So I don't really know how this is going to go. Um, I don't know if they have things for him to try or they like order them. Hey! Our appointment's in 15 minutes. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm so excited. We didn't pick a, pick a suit today. No. We need to do a menswear, a men, a groom's try-on appointment. We didn't realize that. Um, so we picked the things that we like. We're gonna try a heather gray suit and a black suit. And then a burgundy. Yep. Or apple red, I guess, is more like our color. Um, and it's a normal, like, flat long tie or a bow tie. And then we have plans for our ring bearer and flower girl. Yep, we solidify that. So that makes me feel good. We have a plan. It'll be very simple. I think we're going to go, like, all black with, like, burgundy elements and accents. So I think that'll be great. Um, we're just going to decide what to do now because I was pretty short. I called my mom. So we're going back in next Saturday. So more to come in next week's vlog. And then we get the rest of the guys in, come up with their stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm very excited. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna go have Father's Day lunch. We're not gonna do a picnic outside. We're just gonna do it inside because the weather's kind of crappy. And then we're gonna go over like wedding stuff that we can tackle, <sighs> all this stuff. He got his measurements taken. That was cool. Are you excited to try them on? Yeah. Which are you more leaning towards? Do you really like the Heather Gray or the I black? like the gray. Red is gonna definitely pop out. With the gray? What? Oh, for 100%. Yeah, and I feel like my dress has, is just so light and airy that it might work. Yeah, no, I like it. it has a vest, yeah. It does. So the black does not? She didn't say that. Oh, okay. Well, right. so we'll see what happens. 
Good morning, friends. It is Sunday. Happy Father's Day if you celebrate. Uh, we are going to go see if we can get um, some donuts at the Malasadas place, my favorite. They're like Hawaiian donuts, if you don't know. You know what's so funny, Jared? I recorded multiple TikToks in my sleep about Malasadas. Like I thought, I found like a trending audio. Like this is literally what my dreams are like. Um, Anyway, we're gonna get some malasadas. They just opened their new physical location downtown. It's called Oli's Malasadas. And um, I actually went to school with the husband of the duo, so that's kind of funny. But uh, we're gonna go see. They sell out very quick. So we're gonna see if we can get something. And then we have been tasked with getting root beer for my dad and like different beverages. We have his bag of gifts. And um, we're gonna take the trash out, the recycling out go maybe like kill time at the farmer's market i don't really know what we're gonna do but i'm feeling good today definitely like some lingering dizziness but um i took a leaf shower and i'm just like trying to have a good day tell myself everything is fine <laughs> um and so far so good like i can still drive and be a passenger and like all of that okay. we're in the car we got I got the California Dreamin' bagel sandwich. Uh, we're gonna eat again very soon, but we were really hungry, so we got a little treat. Our malasadas looks so good. Uh, they were sold out of like half the flavors by the time I got there, and we got rained on a bit, but it was worth it. This is the farmer's market, Heyday Cafe. I always get the California Dreamin' on everything bagel. We just have to run into a grocery store real fast at Hagen. It's good-ish. Also, my old guitar teacher was playing at the market today with his little Irish band. Mm. Do you get some special beers? It's even more authentic. If you take it. Oh yeah, like I couldn't even wait. I found this on the web. I don't need to know. <laughs> well, put it back. Pretty much. You're welcome. Cute little card. Yes, it is. Are you ready for the best card of your life? Well, Credit to Jared? Know. Oh. I don't know. This is compared to beat this one. Yeah, this is more unique. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, multiple sayings that you can press and play around with here. That's your Let's hear them. Do I push this? Press here. Yeah. There's like seven different things. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the girl I was like, have you had one of these before? I was like, oh yeah. Oh. I keep coming back. National Park puzzle. Oh cool. Figured, I know mom likes puzzles. I'm sure you guys can do them together and oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. A thousand piece. I didn't know what that's about the max. I don't know if you need these, but yes, we do. I feel like I heard something about that oh, that you guys oh, needed. Oh, nice! Yeah, those are good. Same ones. I just figured yeah. two of them. Oh, these are really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Can you see one? Thank you too. I hope you enjoy all the Washington merch that I get you guys. <laughs> That's really the vibe. Oh. <laughs> All right. And that's from the landmark project that funds the Washington Forest Service. Where I got your calendar and or the US Forest Service. Yeah. yeah. You like it? Yes, I do. Okay, good. That's great. It's kind of like a camping mug ish, yeah. so you could take it out or you could just have it with your morning coffee here. Yeah, no, that's great. You happy? Yes, I am. Thank okay, you very good. much. Hope you have fun with your puzzle. Hope it's a head scratcher. <laughs> Wanna say hello? This is the next day, it's Monday. Uh, we've been on a journey. So more to come in the next week's vlog that you will see. 
Uh, my vestibular shit is back. Love that for me. Uh, I just like wanted to go to urgent care just to get checked out because the dizziness still has not gone away. And albeit it is better, that's not correct grammar. <laughs> Even though it's better, still got some stuff going on. So I'll be sure to document my journess in the next week. Um, stay tuned. Great time. Uh, loved my time with my dad. We had a blast. The molasadas were chef's kiss, super good. Um, but yeah, don't really know how the next week's gonna shake out. So follow along for my second part two vestibular journey. Bye.